What's up guys? Today I'm so excited to finally be doing my first Avengers showcase from the characters from 2012's Avengers. You guys know what I mean. So for this I have Cap, Iron Man, Black Widow, Hulk, Thor and Hawkeye. And these took so long. I'm so glad they're finally done. And so let's get a better look at them up close. So I'm not going to spend much time on these minifigures as they're quite simple, but starting off with Cap, this minifigure uses a flash cowl that I painted off my own blue colour, and it has all the details you can expect him to have, and then he has a fully painted face which I think turned out pretty okay, I could revisit, in, revisit it in the future, but I think the face looks okay to be honest. And then the rest of his lower cowl is painted around the head with a black outline as well. Then his torso has some really simple details, not much really, but it still looks good enough, and I like how it turned out. And his arms have what you'd expect them to have, it's really nothing that major, and neither of his legs, his legs are actually quite simple. And by the way, here's a look at his very simplistic back, which, uh, yeah, that's that really. Anyway, that's pretty much it for Cap, besides one thing, and he has an alternative head. So if I can get it off, there we go. Here is his alternative head. And I really try to make it look like Chris Evans as much as possible. And I think it looks pretty good. The base was Sheldon's head from Big Bang Theory. I just changed the mouth and gave him cheekbones. And I painted it around the neck. And used Mutt Williams hairpiece by cutting off the front. And then he has a Lego shield. So that's it for Cap. Next up is Iron Man in the Mark 7 outfit. And this turns out freaking cool, and I cannot wait to add it to my Hall of Armor that I've shown you in a previous video. But yeah, so he uses Lego's helmet just with repainted eyes. I was actually going to use this on my Mark 85, but I've run out of Iron Man helmets. And so I just took it, and I might actually use this for my Age of Ultron as well. This Iron Man helmet, so we'll see. And then there's some red highlights going around all the figure, and it turned out pretty great. There's a little sculpted portion on the front of the torso with the arc reactor and then a lot of painted details with that as well. And there's sculpted bits on the arms as well with highlights of red in my own red colour. And then his legs have some very simplistic details. Not really much to see but then there's a look at his back. So yeah, that's pretty much all that that is. Just continuation of lines going round and some extra parts on there that are sculpted. So, that's cool. And then one other element is the painted face. And believe me, this looks a lot like Tony Stark. This is my first ever, period, fully painted Tony Stark head. I think it's out pretty good. With a red neck going around it as well. And I also have a hairpiece to go with him. So, I hope you have an image showing you him with the hairpiece. But if not, and the face mask just fell off. But I'm going to show you the heart anyway. So there's the HUD. That's Iron Man. Finishing off the main trinity of minifigures, here is Thor, and this guy is one of the most complex Thors I've ever made, to be honest. I had no idea how I was going to make him at first, but now I have this minifigure. And I'm pretty sure I'll be having him as a stand-in for my Age of Ultron showcase. I know that Hulk will definitely be, definitely be a stand-in, and I'll show him in a minute, but... Thor might be a stand-in, to be honest. Anyway, the hairpiece, Luke Skywalker's hairpiece, in my own gold colour. Or basically my own brown colour. And then the Age of Ultron Thor head, which I'll probably carry over onto my Age of Ultron Thor custom, along with this hairpiece, to be honest. And maybe this cape. And then the torso's four sculpted circles that were actually pretty time-consuming to add on. And this one down here, actually fell off, so I had to glue that back on. And there's other painted details on there as well. And then he has painted hands, which makes sense to be honest. And then his legs have minimal detail, but doesn't really matter. And then his hammer is completely custom. I do have this on my cap for Endgame, but I just never used it. It's literally just a brown rod with some... Don't worry, it does that. It's meant to do that, I guess. It's meant to be like a poseable arm, but I'll quickly just show it anyway. Oh, wrong thing. 
Where is it? Here it is. So it's basically just a few parts sculpted together to make this. And the reason why my, that arm fell out is because I cut it a bit. So it could be poseable. But yeah, I'll leave it out. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Thor with one arm. And uh, yep. Moving on to Black Widow. I'm currently running out of storage right now, so I'm going to go quite fast with the rest of these figures. So she has Kira's head from Han Solo sets, and the hairpiece that I promised I'd use on her in my own orange colour. And here's what it started out as, basically this colour, taken from Fantastic Beasts. And then she has sculpted things on her torso, you know what I mean. <laughs> and then her logo on the lower chest. And then some of my own custom skin tone on the torso and hands. And then a gun, which looks pretty cool with her. I just like to give her one because why not? And then some straps going around her legs. There's only one going around this leg right now. But you can't really see the other one to be honest. And this was actually made out of the same thing as Anakin's robes when I made them. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of detail on her belt here. And her entire outfit was painted in a matte black colour. Pretty much. And that's Black Widow, and I think she turned out pretty great. Now Hawkeye doesn't need much of an introduction to this showcase. It's literally just a new face, because he's a 2018 me figure. And last time, if you remember this me figure, I used this head last time. And so yeah, just a new face to try and match Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. So that turned out pretty okay. Everything but the eyes and eyebrows are painted. And uh, let's look at the quiver. And for the final Avenger, here is Hulk, and he turned out pretty okay. And yes, I know it's a knockoff, you can easily tell that, but I'm telling you, I've run out of the Age of Ultron Hulk big figs. I used one for Infinity War, but that's about it. I didn't have time to order another one, so I was like, I'll get a knockoff, because the official one is really expensive. But anyway, here he is. Basically just painted up battle damage, and painted shorts, basically. And other than that, that's basically it. Not really much to see, just painted battle damage and painted shorts. Alright guys, that is it for the first Avengers showcase. I've been waiting to say that since after Italy. But now that it's finally done, I can move on to Age of Ultron and put both of these projects behind me. Because I, like I said, ones I haven't done since after Italy. But instead, I had to move on to Venom, didn't I? In case you guys remember that. Either way, yeah, if you guys are excited for Major Ultron figures, then make sure you stay subscribed and comment that you're excited or something like that, because I will be bringing them to you guys very soon. But I'm done with this showcase now, and not that I didn't enjoy making these figures, they all turned out great, but either way, I'll catch you guys on the Age of Ultron side. Peace.